In this video, um, I'm going to show you how to switch um, 230 volts, so that's um, high power with a Lego uh, robot inventors kit. Um, this is actually just to prove a point. It serves no purpose. It doesn't help you in, in, in any robot, so um, you'd better not try this yourself. I just want to show you how um, you can use the data from um, this robot over um, a serial port to control a board to control a relay switch. So um, uh, don't do this, don't do it yourself. And if you do it, be very, very careful because here I'm using a um, relay and it has got these open contacts. So once I plug this in, um, there will be 220 volts here and you shouldn't uh, touch that. What we have here is a robot inventor robot. We have um, this uh, breakout board and this breakout board here um, is like a conversion or a connection piece between um, EV3 NXT and this uh, six point um, a tenth of an inch pitch uh, port where you can um, just plug in uh, cables like this and I have uh, crimped this on a um, power function cable so that's really easy to do uh, crimping this is really easy to do uh, yourself um, and what happens is that I originally designed this board to work with an open MV camera and then I figured um, I, I'm using the OpenMV camera not only for the camera but also for the um, I.O. ports on there. So then uh, with a friend I designed this board here um, which is an ESP8266 uh, uh, and um, it has Wi-Fi. So this connects, this also connects your um, Mindstorms robot to Wi-Fi but we're not going to use the Wi-Fi bit of it today, we're just going to use the I.O. ports to um, drive a relay. Now, um, this breakout here connects any Mindstorms robot to the um, ESP and then um, using a serial port protocol, you can talk to the ESP and tell it to switch on and off uh, the ports here. Um, so. Here on my relay, um, black is ground, uh, brown is 3 volts, and white is data. Okay, once all of this is set up, I uh, connect my robot inventor. So you actually have to connect it to the, uh, to the top part here where the EV3 sensor is. This board is just a breakout and it doesn't um, have the voltage connected. So here you can already see that the relay is uh, powered and the red light is uh, glowing there. I'm not putting... Uh, power on yet just showing you um, uh, what how the remote control works here so I created a program uh, that sends serial port commands over to the ESP here and uses the REPL it just sends REPL commands overall paste so there is no software here on the ESP except for MicroPython um, program is running so I ripped off Tars's arm. Tars is a walking robot that I made before. If you um, look at the uh, upper right uh, corner of the um, video, you will find a link to the building instructions and another video of this one. For now, I just ripped off uh, one arm and used the other arm, uh, the position of it, to 
control the, um, the relay. So you can see if the arm is uh, forward, the, the green LED here is off. And if I turn it backward, the green LED is on. So every time I move the leg, it sends a uh, command over a serial port to this card, which uh, switches the relay. I tried connecting this directly to the uh, Robot Inventor Kit uh, because um, these pins have a GPIO mode that can also um, switch high and low, but there is a very big resistor on the GPIO port that um, prevents um, big currents from flowing and this relay needs quite a big current to switch. So that's why uh, this only works with this breakout board here where I didn't put the resistor in between and it just works for the switching. So now um, you saw how this works without power. We can safely plug this all in and see how we can really switch 220 volts with this um, relay here. Be very careful. Okay, so this is it, basically. Um, you can see how turning the arm switches on a light bulb. So this is a totally useless robot. It's the most expensive light switch ever. Um, so there is no point in repeating this. I was just um, explaining how you can create a breakout board and connect all kinds of other electronics to the Robot Inventor Kit. So I hope um, you come up with a useful thing to connect uh, to this robot. Um, this was just to show you that um, it works on Robot Inventor. Um, you don't need EV3 uh, to do this, uh, but you do need this breakout board. On an EV3 robot, you can do all of this without the extra ESP board and you can switch the relay directly from the um, GPIO on the EV3. Okay, so you saw how I could switch a relay from a Mindstorms robot. It's all done via software. Now let's take a little look at the code that I used to do this. What you can see is, um, well, actually the, the the beginning of the code here is something um, that, that is just um, to communicate with the Wi-Fi board. So you can pretty much ignore all of this. And uh, here at line 52 is where it gets interesting. So you see, I create a, um, a board. So that's the external board uh, to which I connect the relay. I put it into port C and I declare just a regular motor which happened to be Tarsus arm. And um, then the board, I called it Wi-Fi. So I asked the board to enter raw REPL. REPL is a micro Python thing. It's um, remote, remote uh, it's a remote execute and um, evaluate and programming loop. So um, this little Wi-Fi board also runs micro Python, much like the brick and we can execute Python commands from the um, Robot Inventor Hub on the Wi-Fi Hub. And so after entering the raw REPL, I can execute commands like this, like um, from machine import pin, which is um, MicroPython for um, accessing pins. And then I define a pin. Pin four is where I connect it to the uh, relay and it's an output pin. Once I defined both, I can then um, create an uh, ever forever loop where I read the position of the motor B here. And um, if the position, it's the absolute position. So it's if it's above uh, one above zero, so between zero and 180, I turn this, the light on, and if it's uh, negative, I turn the light off by executing this uh, Python command and turning the pin low. So this script here is really simple, 
and it's a really simple and easy way to communicate uh, with the board. All of this above, um, you can read it, but don't worry about it too much. It's um, just some general uh, connection class that I wrote and you can download it on my um, GitHub and pretty much paste it before all of your programs. So the board I'm using here in um, the video was uh, this one. Um, in the video it was red, right now it's uh, black, so that's the new shipment. I first uh, created them red, I only ordered a few and um, actually the board was very very popular so it sold out really quickly and I ordered a new batch in black because <laughs> I like black and it combines much better with robots and so this is the the Wi-Fi board here that um, uh, you're able to connect a relay to it and then remote control it from the from the Mindstorms hub. If you follow the link in the card here in the top right corner of the video you'll find um, a link to my website where you can uh, get these. Um, I'm not making much profit out of them. I just sell them um, because I like to enable other people to, uh, to connect different electronics. I'll also put a link in a card and in the description below to the GitHub library where you can uh, download um, the code to communicate so you only have to worry about the MicroPython commands. If you liked um, this demo, um, remember to subscribe. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to connect these um, um, NeoPixels, uh, WB28 something um, LEDs to your Mindstorm so you can make all kinds of nice uh, LED movements uh, with it. Um, well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.